Hey, welcome back. I'm here today with my son James. He's going to help me out, right, Ben? Mm -hmm. All right, and we're going to be doing another video, but this time a little bit more advanced sounds, right? So you can mm -hmm. see we've already introduced the whole alphabet, and James knows all of his digraphs and some tie graphs, and we even have our R controlled vowels and some vowel teams on our board, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So when we warm up to start our lesson, we like to go over and review some of the sounds. Um, I might say, can you point to the sound that says ch? Can you find ch? There you go. And there's one more that says ch. Do you see it? Or do you need help to find it? Nope, that says sh. This one also says ch. Remember? Good. Yeah. Okay, what about p? What says p? Perfect. And what says k? E. Mm -hmm. K. Mm -hmm. And C. K. And C. Oh, there's C. K. Oh, there's C. K. Good job. I love how you knew all three sounds that say k. Now, we've been working on a spelling rule with C. K. Right? We've been learning that you only use CK at the end of a word when it follows a short vowel. So, to start us off today, I was thinking we build the word duck. Okay? So let's tap out duck. How many sounds in duck? D U K. Okay, so you thought of three letters. Okay, but let's talk about the sounds. What sounds do you hear? The duck. Uh, Good, so we're gonna move our sound tiles first. D, a, k. D, a, k. Perfect, okay, and now we're gonna figure out which letters represent those sounds. So you already said the letter D is gonna be the D, good. And then we have the letter U says a, good. And then we need something to say k. Mm. Oh, and this time you picked ck. Why did you pick ck? Because ck at the end of a word doesn't always come. If there's a if there's a vowel, if there's not a vowel like n. R then oh. it can't come. You yeah. have to use a K. Yeah, because if we had an R, that would that would mean that it's an R-controlled vowel instead of a short vowel, right? So we had duck, okay? And let's go ahead and um, mark the short U. Do you remember how we do that? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to move our sound tiles out of the way, and you're going to use your whiteboard marker, and we're going to mark that we have a short vowel and that's what's helping us remember our spelling rule. Good. Okay, and you can actually use that whole space above there to mark your short vowel, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to switch the vowel. We're going to change the word duck. We're going to change it to deck. What sound did I switch when I went from duck to deck? D. U. Oh, the middle sound changed, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You can leave a marker out. You can put it right here because we're going to keep using it. Okay? But I want you to switch this middle sound. Can you build the word deck? Duh. Eh. Uh. Perfect. Okay, now today we're going to be learning a new spelling rule. You already know about the CK at the end, but there's another rule that has to do with having short vowels. Is this a short vowel too? Eh. Is it making a short sound? Okay, so another spelling rule with short vowels is that if one of these loss letters, see how there's an F, L, S, Z at the end of the line? If one of these letters comes right after the short vowel at the end of the word, you need to double it. Okay? 
So we're actually going to need two of those. And I'm going to show you that. Um, but let's see. Let's, let's first switch this word, deck, to check. What do you need for check? Which sound changes? Yeah, we don't the need the D. D goes when the C comes. Okay. So you built sec because C says S right up when it comes next to E. Is that what we wanted to say? No. Mm -hmm. We want check. Okay. Now you have keck. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's not the right sound either. We need to find the ch sound. Remember we talked? Ch there you go. Good. You have, what word is this? Check. Check. Good. Okay. So if we have check and we switch it to chess, which sound changes? We don't need the CK anymore. Now we need the S. And remember, that's one of the floss letters. So when it gets right after short vowel at the end of a word, we actually have to double it. Now we have the word chess. Chess. Good. Okay, I want to switch chess to less. Okay. Can you change chess to less? Take the ch off. Mm -hmm. Actually, no, it goes, goes in there. Uh, you put less. We're making less. Less. Good. Okay, do I still need my double S? Yes. Why? Because the E is still there. Yeah, we still have a short vowel there. Hmm, but what if I change it to an O? What if I take away the E and I put in O? Oh, it still goes because oh. the O is a cap, is a let us a letter that is cap that can be cap that is. Oh. What's special about these vowels? They can they are the they can be short. They're short, so it's still short. Long. Yeah, I could change it to a long vowel. What would I need to do to change it to a long vowel? You put an E. Okay, so if we had an E on the end, it would switch to long, right? But right now it's short because there's no E, and it's closed in. And when it's closed in right there with a the floss letter, we have to double that letter. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I want you to write that word. What is that word? Can you sound it out for me? Loss. Good. Can you write the word loss for me? Good. Okay, and we've practiced doubling the S, right? Mm -hmm. But remember I told you that there's actually four letters that get doubled. The floss letters. Do you remember what letters they were? F, mm -hmm. L, and S. F, L, and S. And then sometimes Z. Yeah. Okay, sometimes he gets double two, so we count that I one like too. Buzz. That's right, and the word buzz, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to build one more word. Maybe two more words. Is that okay? Okay, this one you're gonna have to change. Um let's see. Instead of loss, I want to say boss. Boss. What would you change? You would change the L mm -hmm. to a B. Good. Okay, so now we have the word boss. Okay, now I want you to change two sounds. It's a little tricky. Mm -hmm. But I want you to change boss into bill. Ooh, that might be too hard. What do you think? Can you do bill? Yeah. B it. Good. I like how you found the I says it. Okay, we don't need an S anymore. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna erase that extra one too. Okay, and what do we need for Bill? Bill? We need L and L. Oh, how come you doubled the L? Because there's an I and then there's an L. Mm -hmm. And if the L is at the end with an a I, short vowel, short vowel, behind it, in front, behind it, and it, Makes double. That's right. Okay, can you write bill for me? B I L L. Awesome.
job. I'm so proud of you. Today we worked on our floss rule for spelling and you did awesome. High five, bud. Great job.